Hello, my name is Sean, and today I'm giving you everything you need to know about the Polaroid SX-70. Namely, this. Now, mine is a sonar. I don't use this one anymore, but I'll get to that. It's a very nice camera. You can probably find one on eBay, whatever, but before you buy one, make sure that it says tested working. You don't want to get one that's broken, they're kind of difficult to fix, and it might cost you a lot. So make sure it's working before you buy one. If you want to get one, you want to make sure that you know it's working, you can buy one on the Impossible Project or from Mint Cameras. Theirs are perfectly working, and they're in pristine condition, they come with a warranty. Now the camera. This is an ISO 100 camera, which means you need to buy ISO 100 or SX-70 film. The box says SX-70 film on it, so you don't get confused. Again, you can find the exact same two places I just mentioned, ImpossibleProject.com and MintCameras.com. Now, this camera folds up. It's easier to carry. To do that, you're going to need to find this bar. It has a little arrow on it. See it right there. Go ahead and pull that back camera collapses. Let's simply push this down. And your camera is now collapsed. Without this giant thing, it'll look something like this. It's actually a lot nicer without it. To reopen one, you want to find these ridges here. Pull it up. Pull it until it locks. The camera is now fully open. Now, never leave it open when you're not using it. It takes up battery life so long as it's open. That's how it knows it's on. So when you're not using it, make sure to close it up so you don't waste your battery. Now, parts of the camera. For this, I'm going to use my other camera because I don't want to. This one actually is loaded. Okay. And this one has a sonar, so in order to use the sonar autofocus, simply push the button halfway. You'll know when it goes off because it has this weird, very distinct sound. Then push it all the way to actually take the picture. If you don't want to use the sonar, there's a little button right here. Go ahead and push that in until you see the red. Then you can use this wheel, which you can see changes the focus. This camera has a problem where it can't take very close-up pictures, so you can have to work with it. This is both your lens or your film and the lens with which you see through here. This is an SLR, I mean single lens reflect only has the one lens. So what you see is what you get. Just maybe make sure you keep this clean. And this here. This is your electronic eye. Basically it's your light meter for your camera. This camera does not have a manual shutter speed. The camera determines the shutter speed on its own based on the light in the environment using this little you know, lens here. If it's too bright, you might want to use this. This is when someone's light actually comes into the camera. This is full open, full closed. Because the shutter for this camera is actually really not very good, one like it's one hundred and thirty-fifth of a second, which isn't very impressive for a bright sun. If it's really bright outside and you want to take a picture, make sure it's you know mostly closed. If you want to take a nighttime picture, you can try opening it all the way up, but as you can see, it doesn't have a flash, so not particularly good at night, which we'll get to when I go to attachments. Now, in order to load film in this camera, I'm going to find this little button on the side, right here. Go ahead and just push that down, and there it is.
slide the cassette right in there. Now you're going to want to keep these rollers here clean. The film goes in between them when it ejects. So you, if these are dirty, you can get stuff on your film and it might not roll properly. It's just a nightmare all around. So make sure you keep your camera nice and clean on the inside. Of course, as always, do not remove a half used cassette of film. It will ruin it. If you put a cassette of film in your camera, you have to shoot the entire thing. Otherwise, you're just wasting film. Once it's in, it cannot be removed safely. At least, not unless you do it in like a dark closet or something. It's just kind of annoying, which I'll get to right now, in fact. When you buy your film, it's going to come in a box. It looks a lot like this. This one's already, you know, open. It's going to have this aluminum material. Make sure it's nice and sealed up. It's going to look a lot like this. A little quote on it. This is your dark slide. Do not remove. The camera will do it yourself. For an S670, you're going to need this little tab. It's the only way to get it out. So if it does not have this tab, you need to put a piece of duct tape or something on there because you're not going to be able to get it out of the camera easily. Now this is both your battery pack and the film. So there's no batteries required for anything. Just put this in, it all does its own thing. Very simple and easy. I don't know why I closed this for. Now, to insert the film, find the tab right there. That's the out end of the little battery part. You just And it's in. When you close it, the camera automatically ejects the dark slide. That's how you know your camera's working. If it doesn't eject your dark slide, it probably means the battery pack is dead or the camera is dead. So, pull out the extended film. Don't worry, this is an old one. Grab that little tab I told you about and just rip it out. All you have is a dead, well, not a dead, but an empty cassette of film. Basically, it's just a battery now. Now, to compensate for the fact that the, these cameras have no flash, you can buy one of these. It's upside down. It's a flash bar. Buy it at Mint. Now, there are uh, expendable ones that you can probably find on eBay. They're kind of like, they have like a certain amount of exposures before they actually die. This one's actually battery operated. Take a camera, like mine, or like the sonar, doesn't matter. See this little hole on top. All you gotta do, take your camera, there you go. That's it. And to use it, it's all these settings here. Very simple. I'm not going to get into it in this video. Maybe a later one. But it's all in the instructions. It's not really that hard. One more very important thing to know. A lot of the newer ones, not the base model, but the ones that come after that, do come with a hole for a um, tripod. Do be careful though, the camera is kind of heavy. If you put it on a digital camera, a tripod, it probably will break it. I did that with my old camera. This one. It just fell right off and broke it. Not the camera, the tripod. The camera was fine, luckily. So make sure your tripod is actually strong enough to hold it. But it just screws right in like a normal camera. No big deal. Now if you want to buy another tab for your camera, you always get the lens set. So I'll go ahead and install it for you so you can see how that works. It's not really that complicated either. Just open your camera up. Yeah, the box is a bit complicated though. Take this little device, which is the lens holder, and simply snap it on. Take any lens you want. Apparently, I have a 
blue one and just slide it on. That's not how you do it actually, but you get the point. It's actually like that. It's kind of hard to see me do because my giant hand is in the way, but just put this part over the electronic eye and you just sort of slide it in place. Again, really simple. It actually brings me to the major issue that involves the SX70, which is the fact that the SX70 is an SLR, uh, an ISO 100 film camera, which I don't really like ISO 100 film. It's kind of old and doesn't have the proper light exposure that I like. And for some reason, whenever I was shooting with it, it always came overexposed. I don't know why. In order to fix that, you're going to need a ND filter. Now, they have the ones where you can simply install on the film, but I prefer this one. It's just a lens. You just install it over the top, and that's all you need. I'll go ahead and pause this for a second, and I will actually get my ND filter so you can see how to do that. Okay, back. This is the ND filter I'm talking about. It comes in a little pack. This pack right here. Five bucks. Completely reusable. What you want to do is you can take your pack of film, I actually put the dark side back in. And you're just going to want to tuck it right over. Not like that. I did it wrong. Sorry. There we go. Big tab goes in the back. These two tabs in the front, just leave them hanging out. That way when you it ejects, it doesn't eject the dark side with it. Don't worry, it wouldn't fall inside your camera. Yeah, like this. That way when the 600 film uh, camera... Can't look today, sorry. When the 600 format film is in your Essex 70 100 format camera, the appropriate light goes through this film. It corrects for it. Basically, you're still shooting 100 film, but in a 600 format film, and they're exactly the same price, so don't worry about it. And if you do have a 600 type camera, you know, you can uh, just buy one type of film and not buy two. This right here is actually a 600 format because it's not technically an X670. This one's actually a, a one from Mint. It's one of their new ones. Comes with this little gadget. Let's me change the uh, shutter speed manually with this little setting. Can't really see it though. The light's kind of bad. Just like any other attachment, it just fits right on there. Not easy to do when it's closed, but. There you go. Very simple. That's really all you need to know about an SX70. It's not really that complicated to shoot with. You just gotta be careful of shooting in bright light. If you don't have um, the SLR 670 like I do, with the uh, shutter speed, you gotta be careful because the SX70 has a very slow shutter speed. It's fast, the shutter speed isn't really that fast. So in bright light, you're going to get overexposed pictures. So make sure to shoot in the shade or to crank that light wheel all the way back. Because uh, if you don't, pictures are going to come out a little dark. This little light wheel right here. All the way back. You need to play with it for a while, get it just right, see where it belongs. But it's the way it works with any real film camera, I suppose. Um, also, no flash bar. You, you can buy the reusable ones, or like I did, or the disposable ones. Those ones last um, 12 shots. Then you just throw them away. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hope to make some more.